Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I am going to show you a, a variant of ARDL model, which is known as multiple threshold ARDL model. Uh, this model was firstly used by uh, in this paper, and this paper was published in Economic Modeling Journal. And and then this this model is also uh, the tutorial for this model is also given by one of the study. Uh, blog blogger this this author has written a blog on it and I've studied his blog where he has given a tutorial for this so you can see the website and the title uh, and I will summarize what the both authors are suggesting and then uh, give you a tutorial on e-views the idea behind the model that is used uh, the idea behind the model that is used uh, by this author is that uh, there they, sometimes the variables affect are not linear yes in most cases we already know and for that the non-linear ARDL the asymmetric effect non-linear ARDL is also there but the problem is that the non-linear ARDL assumes that the the effects are uh, asymmetric when the change is shifted from positive to negative or means when the variable is increasing or decreasing means the the change starts from zero uh, which is described by this blog also but the problem in real life is sometimes variables uh, change might not be at zero it might be somewhere else the 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 heterogeneous or asymmetric effect might start from some other threshold value so this is multiple threshold uh, ARDL model and it's also can be called non-linear ARDL model because the coefficients are now changing because of the discontinuous uh, uh, distribution. So I will start with this example here. I have data of uh, uh, monetary policy uncertainty and there is an Islamic finance variable IFP. So I will remove other variables so that uh, there is a clarity in what variables are being created. So let me uh, delete them. So we will follow this uh, paper and the blog and try to recreate this uh, model using my example while you can see the same example and the paper that I have showed you. So I will try to follow them. First of all, the paper said that you can split the data like this. So I will write this code here and I will explain them. So if there is one threshold uh, non-linear ARDL model, we use this method that if the change is positive, then pick uh, pick it as a increasing asymmetry, and then if change is negative, we put it a decreasing asymmetry. But in real life, there can be more than one asymmetric uh, threshold values. So for that, I will start with generate series. I will start that my MPU at 25 threshold. That will be equal to add quantile. And I will find the change in MPU and say that if the change is uh, at 25 percentile. So I will find the uh, the value of change in MPU which is equal to 25 percentile. So it will give me a number and it will be minus 11 plus 6. So it's not zero. Okay. Then we will we will make one more for uh, MPU 75 percent that will be equal to at quantile uh, change in MPU at 75 0.75 so it will find the uh, percentile value of change in MPU that is at 75 percentile so I will show it here so this is 14.66 so it means uh, so according to blog, blog so I have actually found this cut of values not the center so I am saying that uh, maybe these so I have divided the data into three portions 0 to 25 25 to 75 and 75 and above so three portions based upon the change in the data and same thing is shown in this paper so he has shown you the uh, template commands and then shown you the command how to write it so I have used the same style okay now the variable is made now what I have to do is to create a variable that is let me show you here that is the, the variable that is equal to the sum of changes which is below the first threshold okay equal to sum of changes that is uh, delta change and 
in the condition given that the change is lower than the first threshold. So how to write it? So I will go in the blog again. And if you go down, he has used the command cumulative sum. So I will go here and generate series. I will write uh, MPU reg1 regime1 that will equal to add cumulative term sum bracket open. I will say first of all I will write the, the uh, condition that is uh, change, I will break double bracket open change in uh, MPU that must be less than the MPU 25 okay multiply by the change in MPU so this means that if the dummy condition is uh, true it the it will sum the MPU and create, give you the cumulative answer if the condition is false it will give zeros there will be no change so okay so just make sure the brackets are okay two opening and two closing yes so this is the first variable then we we'll make the second regime so MPU regime 2 that will be equal to add sum sum and LL, let's go to the second part this so three times bracket open d mpu bracket close that must be greater than mpu 25 and same thing again bracket open d mpu that must be less than mpu 75 so in between okay regime number two so bracket close twice multiply by d into uh, mpu d means change difference so when i run this it will make the second regime now the third regime so if you have more than three regimes you have to write the codes uh, one by one for each so it depends upon the how do you learn the codes so mpu regime 3 that will equal to that will be equal to at the rate cumulative sum bracket open uh, twice d into mpu that must be equal to mpu 75 threshold and multiply by d into mpu like it close close okay so these are three variables that we made then we look at how the data is changing so we can select the data together open as a group and then open as a graph so you will notice that there is a change in the data Okay, so this way you can have a look how the regimes data data is changing across the regime. So this is MPU reg. So at low change, it is falling down because mostly it is negative. At the medium change, it is very near to zero. So net result is not very much changing. And the positive change, it is increasing. So we have got the data, the, the decreasing regimes and stable regimes and increasing regime. So we can name it like this. Now we go towards running the ARDL model. So what we'll do is select the dependent variable and then independent variables. And then if you have a control variable, so I can, I deleted the control variable. I can select the dummy variable and uh, structural break as a control variable. So you can run simple regression first so that you can see if the regimes are significant. So regime two and three are significant. Then we go towards estimating ARDL model. In this ideal model, I will move the dummy in, in the fixed variables because it's an exogenous variable. If you have any variables, you can add it here. When you run this, it will show you the ARDL model and then you can look for uh, the basic the diagnosis. You can go for long run results and you can see the F statistics here. And it is significant means there is a long run relation. The long run effects are insignificant here means the threshold the, the thresholds are not significant and and then if you go towards uh error correction form error correction term is significant means there is a convergence but but uh, the result showed that there is no long run relation uh, between the variables so after running that uh, he has shown the long run then you can do the diagnostics that are shown here you can go for histogram to see it's normal you can go for uh, residual diagnostic serial lm test to check it is there is no autocorrelation you can go for um heteroscedasticity test and biroche peg and good test and it is also there is no heteroscedasticity then stability you can go for ramsey reset and they it is saying that at uh, stat all the tests are insignificant means there is no nonlinear effect remaining you because you are already added multiple thresholds then you can go for um, 
that's recursive estimates and then queues them and it is within the range and then you can go for the queues in scared so check for it's also stable so this way you can estimate uh, multiple threshold regression in uh, in eviews and in the paper i will open it up what he has done if he has calculated three regimes and then what he is doing is that he is using uh, first model is two regimes then the model of three regimes then other example of two regimes and then three regimes just to create uh, two examples then uh, he shows an equation for ardl there is a there is a long, there is a long run effect okay uh, x lag this will be the convergence variable and the regimes two regimes and the control variable and then the short run effects and then when you go he has used it, uh, panel data but this shows your result for each country separately you will go down and see how they they show the results so what he's comparing two thresholds he's comparing 60 and 40 and then and then let's see he, the results are for two thresholds then when you go down in table three uh, let's see table number four and i deal with one threshold two results and then uh, an ideal with one threshold second model then there is a model for three thresholds you can see it here he has three variables uh, for that variable uh, positive medium and negative so this way they have estimated the ideal model and and you can you can find more variables uh, i have found some articles on that uh, let's see if i show you a few of them there is another study by this this author they have showed uh, multiple thresholds and when you go down let's see what they have done on the paper and uh, let's go down and let's this is descriptive stat and then if you look at the data coming down he has talked about uh, ardl model and by threshold so multiple thresholds so he has first of all talked about um, uh, any ideal of shin which has two thresholds and he has given a formula with zero then multiple thresholds what he have done he has done for 30 30 to 70 and 70 above so three groups that i have done for 25 and 75 and then what he has done he then go for went to the unit 2 test and then ardl model and uh, this is a simple ideal model and you need to test with breaks he is because since we are allowing the breaks so he is also checking if the results are stationary allowing for breaks then if you go down he has started to estimate multiple thresholds and ideal model with two terms positive and negative which is simple asymmetric effect ideal model and then uh, in the background he also done for let's go down that this is three threshold variable uh, three partial uh, sums so same thing that i have shown in the video so then uh, later on uh, these are the results that discussed and further i have explained uh, multiple points see 10 thresholds so if you have capability to write codes you can calculate this so this is a video that um, this is a tutorial that talked about uh, how to run a multiple threshold ardl model hope you like this video special thanks to the blog i will show it again uh, which has enabled me to understand this model uh, and the blog author is this his name is uh, olayani olaylu richard okay i hope i uh, named the author correctly and and then i have also tried to summarize and for the young researchers how to apply this model uh, and try this model for yourself and let me know uh, what uh, what are the results and how successful you were thank you